Phil, the school district there, elementary teacher tonight, going to be charged with sexual abuse of a child or has been. He has been placed on administrative leave, but it's the kind of news clearly that can shake some parents' faith in their kids being safe at school. It's understandable. Our Robbie Owens has been talking today to child abuse experts who say that communication is more effective than panicking. That he was one of the good ones. Nothing to ever imagine that he'd be capable of this. Shock and disbelief in the Kami Elementary School community as John Collette, a popular teacher at the school, is charged with sexual abuse of a child. In this day and age, but it's shocking that it's in my school. It's just too close to home. According to police in the colony, a parent grew suspicious after picking up her 10 year old child from school last week. That parent notified police. The investigation that followed led to Collette's arrest. Police right now say they are not aware of any other victims, but the community is understandably shaken. Are they going to be safe? That's every parent's concern is, are your kids going to be safe? Child abuse experts say there is no fence that can keep your children safe from potential abusers because 95% of victims are betrayed by someone they know and trust. That's why it's important, they say, for parents to trust their instincts and then act on them. I think the message is communication. Mark Bradford is with the Dallas Children's Advocacy Center. He's also a former police officer and child abuse investigator. His advice for parents, trust your intuition and communicate constantly. You're checking in with your kids and just asking them how they're doing. And so that way you have a better understanding when things aren't going good and you can be quicker to, quicker to act upon that intuition. Robbie Owens, CBS News, Texas.